All right, guys, since this is a Nintendo Switch tutorial, I'm going to have to read you a disclaimer. Um, I do not condone any kind of piracy. Everything I show you in this video is for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update Ryu Jinx the 20.0.1 firmware. Now, this is going to work for Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm currently on version 19.0.1, so I will be updating my system. Um, if you're doing a fresh install, you can also follow along. It's going to be the exact same format. I'm going to be leaving you all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. One is going to be for my page, so just scroll down until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be two links. One is going to be for the latest firmware, 20.0.1. Uh, the other is going to be for Ryu Jinx emulator itself. The two links I cannot provide are going to be the title keys slash prod keys and also the uh, game files. So you're going to have to find these on your own. Um, as for the prod keys, you're going to have to find the prod keys that match the firmware 20.0.1. Keep that in mind or it's not going to work. So now for the Ryu Jinx download, just scroll down the page until you find the download button. This is going to be a zip folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now for the Switch's firmware. Scroll down the page until you find the firmware 20.0.1. Go over to the download section. So this is also going to be a zip folder. Um, for the firmware, you can leave it zipped up. You do not need to unzip it. So now for all the folders you're going to need, so I created a folder called PC Emulators with all my emulators. So here's Ryu Jinx. To start up the emulator, you just run the .exe file. Uh, the other folder is the firmware in a zip format. I created a Switch Games folder with all the games. Now the games need to be in .nsp .xei format. And the other folder is going to have the switch keys. So prod keys and title keys. Now we're going to load up the emulator. So we're going to run the exe file. Um, make sure that you leave this window open. If you close this window, uh, the emulator will also close. So just make sure that uh, you have you leave this open in the background. So the first thing we're going to need to do, uh, we're going to need to install the product keys. So go over to Actions, Install Keys, Install Keys or Zip. Uh, find your Keys folder. So Desktop, uh, Switch Keys. Select the Prod Keys folder. Open. Um, install keys. Yes. Successfully installed. Now we're going to install the latest firmware. So same thing. Actions. Install firmware. Install from firmware from XCI or zip. Now you're going to find your zip folder. Open. Uh, so install firmware 20.0.1 to replace 19.0. Do you want to continue? Yes. So successfully installed uh, 20.0.1. So now you're in the latest. Um, so this is the only game that I have. Um, so next thing we're going to do. Uh, we are going to set up the controllers. So I'll go over to settings. Um, input, input device, uh, make sure you have your controller plugged in, so mine's the Xbox One S, there you go, now you can remap it if you want, uh, but if you leave the default, all the buttons are pretty much already set up for you, but if you want to change anything, you can, so just go to apply, and then OK. Now we're going to go back to settings again. Um, 
So the game directories. So if you want to add a game directory, just go to add, find your folder of games, and then select the folder. So I've already done that. Um, next thing, if you want to change any of the hotkeys, you change them here. I just leave it as is. Um, as for the graphics, uh, make sure that the graphics is under Vulkan and the preferred GPU is your graphics card and then apply and then okay. Now everything should be set up. Um, so now you're on the latest version of 20.0.1. Uh, so now it'll run the game. You just double click on the game. Um, if you want to change the layout, you go to this tab up here. It's going to have this kind of layout. Uh, so it's going to tell you the name of the game, uh, the cover of the game, and then the um, uh, firmware of the game. So then just go double click it. And then it should start the game. You should you shouldn't have any issues if you did everything correctly. And there you go. Now you are running on the latest firmware, twenty point zero point one. So there you go guys, so that's how you um, update to the latest firmware 20.0.1. I will leave you all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.